her band director was deciding that he would make band practice on Wednesdays and Sundays. And she went to him and said, but I've got church that time and I can't, I can't do that. And he said to her, well, you've got the rest of your life to do church, uh, but you've only got two more years to do a high school band. And she said, but I've got church on uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. And he said, well, you're gonna have to make a decision. And with that, she looked at him and she said, you know, I've made my decision. And she turned around and walked out and that was it. So when somebody I think of stands up for their faith and their convictions, uh, I think of Maggie Wade. I always remember Maggie coming to our early Hispanic ministry meetings along with um, her dad. Uh, and, and it was such a great encouragement, you know, to see this uh, young lady also in, interested and involved in mission work. My first summer at Cedar Crest, I was really nervous about camp. Um, I had never done anything like it before, and Maggie really took me in, not only as a friend, but also as a mentor, and kind of helped me grow in my leadership skills and figure out, like, how I um, can be my best self at camp. She carried herself in a way that she didn't have to wear a cross. So for me to know that uh, she was Christian, she, she lived it. I first met Maggie at a student-led Bible study. And something that really struck me as I got to know her was that when we always did soul checks, she would be very honest about how her soul was doing. I noticed that my first instinct was to water it down or to, to wear a mask as if I wasn't affected by everyday life, but Maggie always told us how she really felt. And I think it taught me a valuable lesson to be honest about where we are spiritually so that we can help each other, so we can lean on each other. Her dad had just become our new pastor, and he was telling me how he had a daughter that was a counselor at camp, and I was really hoping that I'd be able to have her, and it turned out that I did have her. And she was always very nice, and she always made the campers feel welcome and like they were her family. And I hope that I help kids at our school feel welcome and like they can hang out or do anything with us. Hey, I'm Maggie Wade. I was on CCYM for two years while I was in high school, so I got to work with a lot of great people through that um, organization. There have been so many people that have impacted me throughout the years, throughout my life, being in the Tennessee Conference. Several clergy, lay people, um, several children, youth, young adults. I've looked up to people of all ages, watched them in their walk of faith, and they've impacted my walk of faith as well but also definitely from the campers. Um, I think it's very, very true that they teach me just as much, if not more, that I teach them. Um, and one of those campers is definitely Angie Haley. Um, she, her willingness to serve has opened my eyes to ways that I can serve. She is on CCYM right now, and so it's awesome to see a camper kind of do the same things that I've, I've been able to do and have the opportunity to do. Having her in my cabin here at Cedar Crest has been an amazing experience. I've been her counselor for two or three years, um, and she brings so much energy and life to, to the cabin, to the family group, to camp, and to the conference as a whole. She's such, a, such an amazing young woman, and uh, I've been definitely blessed to, to get to know her. Hi, I'm Andy Haley. I'm in the CCYM. Maggie has been my camp counselor here for about two years. Um, I first had her sister and then she kind of showed me Maggie and we kind of all bonded and we're like a family now. It was a family group night and it was all of our groups together. We were all talking and Maggie was telling a good story and we were going through all memories and stuff about this week and through the past years and she said something and it just made me realize that I could do more and I can encourage others more and when I go home that I can be a different person, maybe be better than I already am. Maggie has encouraged me and taught me that I'm able to influence others and that is something that I hope to do in the future.